Oh my gosh, rewind, rewind. There's titties in the first 10 seconds. What's going on, movie fans? Welcome back to J Buck Studios, your home for reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. Anyways, though, it's Friday, so you know what that means. More Netflix movies and content on the J Buck Studios channel. And I was able to check out the new drama, kind of rags to riches story rising high. Ready to do anything to get rich, a young man upends the Berlin property market with his pal until good times threaten to destroy it all. So is this German dubbed film a must see on Netflix? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Rising High if you woke up early this morning to check it out or now it's very much on your to watch list. Now let's get into some of the good. So Netflix is back at it with the rags to riches type story. Again, it is a German dubbed film, so that might be a turnoff for some people. But I thought, you know, this was a very, I would say, competent film. You know, it did a lot of things great. It didn't do something so great. But what I got from this film is I liked the setup and kind of the, the, the slow almost decline or spin into greed that is very much present in this film with the main character, with the people that he meets, and how... Once you're in too deep, it's very much impossible to get out. And that's what is represented here in Rising High. The character realizes that he can do a little bit of something and then keeps going and going and going. And I like how that gradual incline or decline, I guess, it depends how you look at it. I like how they ramped it up time and time again and how all of these great materialistic things are coming to the character but morally he is losing who he is and becoming this almost twisted person that his family doesn't even recognize and I like how it kind of goes into these like different flashbacks that make you realize why he is this person. But a few other things aside from that our main character portrayed by Frederick Lau, I believe. I thought he was, I wouldn't say perfect. He did a great job in this role. Very much, you know, giving on this persona of a character, but also dealing with uh, other things on the side. And also the way he delivered his lines and the way that he portrayed his um, emotions in this film. I very much was on board for his character. But then they also sprinkle in, obviously with money and drugs and everything, there's going to be party scenes. And they threw in some like, I'm assuming that German, like house, techno, electronica music for these party montages. Even even Billie Eilish was in this, which I felt was a little odd, but the other songs I really enjoyed, kind of setting up the, you know, that party persona. There's scantily clad ladies, there's drugs, there's alcohol, there's lights. So I thought that that you know, showing someone with money, they're going to go party, and the party scenes I thought were, you know, well done, and also cut up the other parts of the film. However, this rags to riches story, it doesn't fully get in to almost any of the different aspects that I really wanted to. It doesn't get in too emotionally, it doesn't get in too much of the greed side, it doesn't really show him having to fight for his life or a moment that makes him really turn his character to change his activities. I mean, you again have this rags to riches story, you've seen movies do this concept a lot better and one of them obviously at the forefront if is wolf of wall street like that one does it fantastically this one feels like almost a cheap gimmick or a ripoff i mean it has the essence in there but it doesn't really step up to that high caliber of that other type of movie but then also the writing and some of the dialogue felt cheesy to myself i mean there's one part where he's kind of forging a name or changing his name to sign a document and he writes down Dirk Diggler. And I understand if you grew up with Boogie Nights, you'd understand that reference. It'd be funny and whatnot. And I didn't know if they were being serious or they're going into the goofy side of things. And and that's the thing is there's humor in this movie, but I didn't think that it entirely landed. Again, being a German dubbed film, it could be landing perfectly for German viewers out there. But then another thing with the writing is there's this one specific phone call. And how would the person on the other side of the line reacts or speaks? speaks or even just reveals certain things about a different character or themselves to who they're talking about felt very odd. Again, I don't know if they were 
steering into that comedic side of things, but it felt, again, in that cheesy vein of kind of dialogue and everything. Overall, Rising High is another Netflix German-dubbed film that takes that rags to riches story. With it featuring a fun story, leading man with a few other characters sprinkled in, and some upbeat techno kind of house electronica music, but with some cheesy dialogue and cheesy humor, and a story you've seen before. It's very familiar. I would borderline skip out on this and watch this film. I mean, if anything I said in this review, the rags to riches story really grabs you. Jump in, give this movie a try. Otherwise, if you want something like High Bar, I would very much recommend Wolf of Wall Street instead of that, unless you want to see this movie because there's titties in the first 10 seconds. In closing, I'm going to give Rising High 2.5 out of 5 greedy business deals. So what did you guys think of Rising High if you've already seen this film or now very much looking forward to this film? I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways though, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there or right over there, you know, brand new content every single week here on the J Buck Studios channel. Tuesday nights, J Buck Live, 8 o'clock Central Time, a live show with movie news, sketches, commercials, all sorts of stuff. Check out the last week's there. Tune in to this coming week's. Follow all of my social media, like this video, subscribe to the J Buck Studios channel. And until next time, we'll see you later.